Hi guys, I'm Yusuke Karate Coach here in Japan, and thanks for coming back to the channel. Today we're going to be watching a sparring session under Sanda World. Sanda, in other words, is basically Chinese kickboxing, and we're going to be doing four different rounds. Two rounds with Min Sang and two rounds with his students. Min Sang, by the way, is a Wushu fourth dan that I have introduced in my past videos. So let's get started. All right, so this is the first round. I'm the one in the back with the clear headgear. That's the one uh, people wear in karate in Japan. So I'm keeping my hands up high because I've seen him with heavy punches up, up close. So I want, I'm keeping my distance away, trying to angle myself so that I don't get targeted um, so easily. Uh, the Sanda rules, guys, are uh, attack to the head, uh, your chest, your back, uh, your thigh, up to the thigh is okay, and throws and takedowns are allowed. So it's a little bit different from the rule that I'm used to. We're going light sparring. That one, the gloves touched. That one, I aim for the um, Maigiri, but he didn't um, come in so much. So I step back and then I got my kick in. So step back, kick, that was um, a very good one. Keeping my hands up higher than my usual sparring. Mm, that one, I, sh I have to go in like five centimeters deeper, like an inch deeper. Okay, so far, so good. Like watching my distance, trying different things. Using the stepping feint. I want to go inside more. Yeah, the kick to the thigh is not something I'm used to, so that was a little bit of a demerit on my side. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> that was a pretty unique kick. Um, I One thing I learned was to, in this one, it was to go in like this, which is something I never do in karate. But, I mean, I understood the merit of it. Oh yeah, the hooks, hooks. Ah, I still have to get used to it. That one, I back down um, right straight away. And oh yeah, after the kick, I have to get my hands up. Something, again, something new for me to learn. But the distance control, yeah, uh, evading to the side and punching. Uh, kizamizuki, karate kizamizuki. Yeah, I'm trying to take the outside now. Uh, I switch my stance, trying to go behind him. Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah, that was a pretty scary one for me. Um, he, I, I knew a big kick was coming, so I wanted to go behind him and do something, but then a hammer fist <laughs> came right away, so I was like, Whoa, <laughs> that was a close one. <laughs> and again, trying to take the outside. That was a good one. Yeah, switch my stance. I'm using a little bit of a stomp kicks now to keep my distance away. And throws were allowed. Oh yeah, fixing my main hole. Yeah. Okay, back to my normal stance again, going up and down. Yeah, the Kizamizuki was something that worked uh, because it's you know something that they're not used to. So, <clears throat> but he's very good at the close range um, hooks. Something I don't have. Oh, that following with the low kick. But you know, I learned. Oh yeah, now using kicks, I guess. Mm. Faint with with kicks, you know, uh, making it diverse. Up, down, you know, low, top. What am I going to do now? Ah, uh, so first round, so far so good. I think this was the first or the second match of this day. So I'm still getting used to the rules and let's watch the next one. Okay, so this is still Ming Sung's student, uh, Sanda student. But he, he seems to be more of like a relaxed guy. So, you know, the rhythm is different. He moves more, uh, which means because he's moving more, it's actually better for me because I'm used to opponents that moves more, not some, not people that stay and start smacking right away. So from that aspect, it, it is something that I'm a little bit more used to. Oh, that was a very clean one. Um, stepping back and doing a mashigiri uh, with the front leg here, stepping back, get, I guess I'm getting the knees bent and then pushing off uh, for the mashigiri. That was a clean counter. Now I used, I since I did the kick with my left leg, I used that as a feint and went in 
、uh, with my right. That's something I usually do in karate、um, as well. And、you can see how my stance is a little bit wider now compared to the last match because he's moving more. Yeah, that was a that was a good one.、Um, aiming for the mashigiri,、uh, roundhouse kick.、Uh, here, roundhouse kick. Switching my stance, backing off, and then putting the kick to the stomach. Right here, you can see in the mirror、uh, to push him away. And those punching combinations. It's still hard for me to stay in the spot, find the angles, and counter back. So, I'm resetting the distance. So, he's good at the close range punches more than myself. That was a stepping feint. <laughs> Very karate like, I think. If you do、um, karate, then I think you've seen it before. Like, you can watch it here. I stomp down once, and then I move in. This is a, a feint that you can use in karate. <clears throat> that was, yeah, that was unexpectedly good. <laughs>、uh, I, I got the hand down, and then, you know, this was light sparring, so I got the hand out. Usually,、um, yeah, I, we would move in to do that, so. Very, very rare for me. <laughs> very, my rare low kick to the thigh. If you guys have any advice on low kicks, let me know.、Mm, blocking. Now he's changing. He's kicking now, too. Okay, I switched the stance now. What am I gonna do? Ah,、uh, my giddy. Trying the my giddy. Yeah, after the kick, I have to get my hand up. Or I guess change, don't, don't go back、um, straight, right? Changing the angles. <laughs> oh, that's where my middle school judo classes kicked in. <laughs> in Japan, in middle school, everybody does some kind of martial art.、Uh, the popular ones are kendo. Kendo and judo. I took judo, so that was one of the things <laughs> we did in judo. I was like, oh, you can fit it in here. So that was a happy surprise. Okay, I think last few seconds. Oh, that one. Since I got the rest <laughs> to get my helmet back on, I tried the,、um, the knee relaxing gyakuzuki. No more gyakuzuki. Right after the leg. Lands here, the knee stays here, but on this one, I stepped in very deep. All right, there. So you, you stretch your body more on this gyakuzuki here, like a Superman punch basically, but a little bit lower.、Uh. <laughs> yep, so so far it's, it's a very good experience for me too.、Uh, now it's gonna be a spar with、uh, Min san、uh, right here. He's a teacher. Okay, so in this third round, I, I changed my helmet because their helmet seemed to be a bit tighter. And I just wanted to experience how different it, what, it was.、Uh, compared to the karate helmet, it's very, it was very thick. And I felt the pressure on my cheek, so I was like this the whole time. Uh, the, the weight was pretty similar.、Uh, and also, since this part was you know, black, you can't really see through it. So that the, the view was a little bit narrowed. So the view aspect and the tightness and the thickness was slightly different. So let's see how I do. Okay, Min san was、um, uh, faster than the last two or, or his students. 
So I had to move a bit, a little bit faster as well. And taking smaller steps now, changing the angle, going in and out, doing faster feints. So yeah, again, that was a step feint, right? Bop, bop. Uh, let's see one more time. Circle around with the front leg. I think I would that right here. Step, step, and then go in. Of course, I stop my punch. And then here, switch back, and then and then uh, sen no sen timing, like uh, attacking before the opponent attacks. Uh, this timing, countering. Well, I got punched here too, so I guess I have to do this. <clears throat> so this was, I would say, like the second half of this whole sparring session. So we're going a little bit faster, I guess, and with a little more power now. Oh, this one. I think this was the, the worst um, scene of this day's session. I just didn't know what to do from here. <laughs> I got punched in the face so many times. Um, I guess I should have ducked down or I guess evaded earlier or jam my kick in. So from here, I learned not to get him too, too close. So I became sensitive about that. Ah, this was a, this was a pretty fun scene to do first yeah if you guys do any grappling or throwing art let me know if you have any any advice on this one i took the kick i wanted to scoop this this way uh like this or i guess this way but then he withstood that so i switched my weight balance to this leg and then i scooped with this that was i think um a good scene uh, from the from this uh, from this day, but me was like, I can do more. I can do other other throws like you. <laughs> okay, nice front kick. Okay, different feints now. Using my front hand, back leg. What am I aiming for? Okay. Oh, I switched my stance too. Okay, moving in. Mm, aiming for uh, counters now. And it was harder to kick Min because he would get the front knee up a lot compared to his student. So although I wanted to kick his stomach, um, a lot of times the knee would get in the way so I couldn't kick so much. Mm, that was a close one. Yeah, these, I would never do it in karate, but then I'm just trying it out. Oh, that was a uh, chudanzuki, uh, same chudanzuki that I would do uh, from karate. In, in karate, I would step in deeper, but I adjusted my height a little bit uh, for this rule. Oh, that was a uchima shigeri. You see this a lot in kyokushin karate, I think. You know, I guess this is just something I wonder all the time. Like in this slow light sparring, if you throw a maigiri, of course you're going to get caught. So what, what what are you supposed to do? Like, are you not supposed to throw it? Or are you supposed to throw it a little bit faster than the other techniques? Like, how do you guys solve this problem? <laughs> Although I understand it in my head, I end up kicking the maigiri sometimes and getting caught. I was trying to the throw, but um, the motion was too big. Oh yeah, one thing that uh, was better um, that I learned through this match was to think about the uh, sequence after these throwing. So I was I was aiming for the throw, blah blah blah, but in my head. I was seeking my chance to put my punch in. So right after I we got up here, that was open-handed um, slapped, or this can be a hook, of course. So these are some things that um, I picked up in this lesson. Oh, that was a 
that was just a direct, pure kizamizuki, karate kizamizuki. Again, hooks. Minsan trying his hooks. I have to keep him out of the distance because I would get cut. Ah, that was the last. The last kick was nice, I think. Um, I think in the last, um, yeah, here, I did a backing off. I did a roundhouse kick. So the kick came in like this from the outside. So I knew he had that picture in his head. So up to here, I fainted this and then I went straight in. So it's like a mashigiri to a um, side thrust kick. That's why it went in. Because he would, it went here. So first round with Minsa. Very nice on both sides, um, different styles. Let's see the last one uh, with Min Sung. Okay, so the last round, we took the headgear off and see how different uh, we would move. So we're both lighter, faster now. So let's see how it is. Okay, Min Sung trying. Uh, he said he was going to do his, his karate jab, uh, which he did. That was very fun for me to... Yeah, pa pa pa. Using the step using his hands a lot, da, 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 da. you know, it's, it's hard to um, defend everyone, every single um, attack. So wh what I did was I moved, I just moved back. Uh, but these, um, and the only thing I can do <laughs> was with my hand, get it right here to, to keep the distance away. So very similar to um, how his first student um, rushed in. Something I don't uh, like receiving so much. Trying to take the outside now, switching my stance. I knew the intensity was building up, so you know you you have to get more serious now. Um, that one, uh, I should have uh, gone in a little bit deeper. What happened was with here, I tried kicking the, the leg, which I'm not used to. I should practice that. Uh, since that was a mashigiri, I switched this and then went this way. Uh, so with this, but I should have closed in distance a bit more. So, you know, making baits, throwing baits here and there, trying to see what I can do. Yeah, that was a close one. Ah, I had this. Ah, <laughs> it's just that um, I knew a kick was coming here, so I kept my hand low. But nah, I just it's just not in my in my experience. Oh, right, that was a nice uh, Urama Shigeri hook kick with the heel. And min -san knows that I'm weak against low kicks, so he's using that as his first move a lot so that I can't build up, so I can't build up my attacks. Oh, that was nice. Finally, some decent, decent one. Here, kick here, and then sway to the side uh, for a hook-ish punch. I have to move in. That was a nice uh, true dangeri. Good. Good. Keep now I'm watching better now. Keeping a distance. Mm, that was good. Sa same combination as last round, right? First one. Um from here. Oh no, before this, so First one, Mawashigeri, stepping back, luring him to come in for a Kekomi here. Okay. 
Oh, nice, nice. One thing I noticed about um, throws, when you do kata, you breathe out when you do the attack, like settling down the weight. It was a very similar feeling to withstand the throw, like breathing out, sinking the center of gravity down, getting yourself nice and rigid, nice and low. So I'm just so glad that I was practicing kata. <laughs> Gedangiri hook punch. And end of the match. So, what did you guys think about it? Uh, if you have any advice or any question or any anything else, let me know in the comment section below. One thing that I think you guys can take away from this one, I think the best technique was roundhouse kick, uh, using that as a bait. Uh, for the side uh, thrust kick. Um, the very important thing about kick is to keep your knee uh, vertical until the last moment. So chamber up the exact same way and then change the course after cha chambering the knee up the same way. So give that a try. If you'd like to check out my Mashigiri and Kekomi video, check these out. And also I run a online group in private lesson where we can learn karate together. So check it out from here too. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you guys for watching.